what's up guys it's lionel back again with another video and today i'm going to talk about the two most important things for you to be a self-taught developer whether that be full stack front end or back end self-taught working remote developer within less than a year is the goal my bad i'm not gonna have to scoot that over and <laughs> the it was gonna be five at first but i noticed that these things here are kind of like similar some of them you can just merge the two like the first one i wrote problem solving skills and ability to try every day was the first and second one now that can be combined to just one thing let's call that motivation right and what that is is pretty much just the days when you don't want to do it and then still trying on that day you know what i mean and a lot of this is like when it comes to being self-taught i feel like that's a whole um mental health challenge right isn't it because you're not clocking in you don't have a boss you are your own boss at that point so it's easier for you to like take time off if that's what you want to do or get frustrated and stop grab your phone start scrolling on social media this whole world has so many distractions that it's hard it's a whole war and battle between you and all of these apps and all of these companies that have been created to take your time your attention and your you know consciousness looking into a screen at that moment is the new gold right all of these companies make money off of these things so with you trying to take your time and apply it to solving a problem for yourself that is the most important thing in my opinion that and i do believe that every single person that does that through the ups and downs and the hard days and the easy days i mean you're already going to do the easy days it's the hard days doing it on those days it's like hard days easy days and middle days you know and if you only do it on the um hard days then you know what i mean that's gonna automatically make you go up down but overall when you zoom out you're gonna be going up and that is the first thing the second thing well the third and fourth thing and then i didn't write a fifth thing because i realized that i can just make this two things so that was communication and networking skills i'm like okay that's the same thing and i say that that is your shortest path to getting a job because think about it I mean, I know most, maybe this hasn't happened to most people, but with me, most of my opportunities in life have came from some type of person that I knew. You know what I mean? Like, it's not always like you just apply online and get that job. Or maybe it is in, a, in another world, if like you have your degree and you're going for something for sure, like signing a contract, like the military or something like that. But when you're talking self-talk, self-taught stuff and just going out of there, like going out of your house on your own and making stuff happen, you have to trust the universe and you have to let the magic happen in those times by just going and giving yourself a chance, picking up the phone and writing an email and liking sending friend requests and going to things and talking to people when you get there you have to also of course apply to things like craigslist and stuff like that and then how do you make those connections is by your communication skills which also can connect to the trying every day with communication skills you're going to have to talk to your team you're going to have to talk to your boss your project manager you're going to have to talk to the interviewer those are communication skills at that point i know feel like a lot of developers can be very problem solving minded but not necessarily always have the proper communication skills to land a job um as a self-taught person of course there comes into like just building something cool contributing to open source um projects online but personally that's hadn't been my path i'm talking about to me and my path i feel like there's a road right and there's like maybe 
20 different paths or something to go from not a developer to a developer my specific path that i'm talking about is more the like going to things and freelancing and just trying random things and trusting things that will work out as long as i give it my all and do a good job and that is what i want to share to people who are behind me and my specific path you know what i mean i know that like this path is not for everybody but for people who this is resonating with these are the two things that i believe that you should zoom on in and focus on and try every day the ability to try every day is number one and number two work on your communication and networking skills and when i say ability to try every day this is one of those days where i was feeling a little tired so i was like not gonna make a video but i have it wrote it written on my board to make a video every day and that's what i'm gonna do that's why that's the most important thing to go with progress because after this you know there's other things that i'm gonna do too so it's all about consistency it's all about every single day get at it and you're gonna get back what you give in that sense it's a sacrifice to you know move forward this is lionel with the daily video i'll see you tomorrow peace